The OTC is a home where people who are physically challenged can come and they can develop to their highest potential in all the fields. Uh, they are treated with respect. They're given the, the best that can be offered. Um, and it's a place where people can grow. Uh, many people come here, adults as well as children, who have not been treated well because of their disability. Um, I often imagine myself, if I'm 20, 30 years old and I have crawled on the ground all my life, how does that feel for people to always look down on you? You don't have to say anything to them. It's just the fact that they're always looking up. And here, when they're put on their feet, and it's a frightening situation, and they'll tell you that they've never been that far from the ground. But what that does for their self-image, it's a transformation of people. And I think that's what we're all about. It's not only the physical rehabilitation, it's the psychological, it's education, it's spiritual, it's the whole works. Okay, you have to walk and walk, huh? Let's walk. And Sakina, Bikina, why are you sitting? Huh? Can you get up and walk? <clears throat> My name is Sister Elizabeth. Officially, I'm the co-director of the center. So Brother and I work closely together with Mr. Kofi O'Henney and Mr. Raphael, who are on the management team. Um, my responsibility for a great part is to say that all the departments work well, uh, to do the finances, to do a lot of the grant writing and the connections with our donors. The Orthopedic Training Center was started in 1961 by Brother Tercisius. Um, he is an SVD or Divine Word Missionary from Holland who had experience in orthopedics because that was his training. And in 61, when he came over, there was polio was endemic in the country. So you saw many children crawling as well as adults crawling. And with his expertise in this field, he knew there was something he could do. So in 61, he started slowly with um, the workshop. He had to train every young man that came to be a technician. Then it was necessary to reach out to the whole country. And so then he started the trekking program or the mobile clinic. Then it was in 67 that the children's department started. In the 70s, life in Ghana was very difficult. I had to do something, so I used to walk over to the orthopedic center and do some teaching. I was drawn there because my father was an amputee from World War II. And I had a sense of what it means to have a, a disabled person in your family. Um, it's not only the person's disability, but it's the way society treats that person. Uh, the children's department is where a child who needs um, therapy, extensive therapy, is allowed to come here for three to six months. It's important that you have a good environment, a safe environment for the children, and I think that's where they're able to flourish. 
And so we do try to structure it um, where it's more like a home. They have their chores to do. Uh, they, they have to respect. Um, we see now more often children are coming from more violence in their families. And so when they come to us, we have problems with fighting or verbal abuse. So we watch them change as they're here because we talk to them that this is not a place where we do this kind of stuff. I don't think we are in favor of increasing it in size, but we are in favor of developing what we have to make it better. For us, it's very important that we keep everything working because we have plenty of people dependent on us. In the workshop, if we don't keep all our machines working, you are going to disappoint 6,000 people a year. Now, I don't think anybody wants that on their conscience. My name is Edward Akahoho. I came to this center about uh, 1974. I came as a patient. Uh, beginning, I was crawling in the floor. See. So I met uh, one of the fathers. At, uh, I was staying in Accra. And they told me he can help me. So we should come to brother. So, in fact, when we came to brother, I saw so many people. I mean, they are also walking all right. So I felt, uh, can I walk? When I said, yes, you can walk. And I said, OK, if only you can help me to walk, I'll be very, very happy. They took me to the workshop. They take measurements, everything. They make the calipers, shoes for me. And they train me how to walk. The first day, I find it very, very difficult. You know, I haven't worked some before. So he said, oh, try it. You can make it. About one month time, I was very, very happy that I can walk. So everywhere people go, I was I used to go there. So I was happy. So from then, and I told brother, OK, now I like to go to school. I like to go to school. Once I can walk, now I think I can accompany those who are walking and accompany them to the school. I said, OK, no problem. I can try. So brother was paying my school fees, my feeding, everything and I completed the school. 